further. So in this case, we got this set V that is defined by tuples made of uh, two real numbers. And with the extra condition that X, the first component of these um, this, this, uh, tuples is a positive or is zero or greater than zero. Basically, it's not a negative value. So we need to show uh, that if V is or not a vector space. In this case, in particular, is not, I'm going to show why. So first, I'm going to define the null vector, the null or neutral or zero vector. So in this case, the neutral element of this possible vector space is going to be zero, zero. Why? The neutral element should satisfy that if I pick a vector u on the space v, this case is defined as u1, u2, where u1 is greater or equal than 0. And I sum with the vector 0, 0. This should be equals to u. And that is trivial because u is equals to u1, u2, plus 0, 0, and this is equals to u again. Okay, so this corresponds to the neutral element. And we're going to use this fact for the second part. The second part, so I'm going to put here, is check what happened with the fifth axiom. So this axiom in particular have a problem. So let's remember that the neutral element is just the zero, zero vector tuple and here what happened is that if I choose an arbitrary element u1 u2 where u1 is positive or equals to then to zero and we need to find there should be a unique element denoted minus u such that u plus minus u is equals to the neutral element. I'm going to define minus u. I'm going to put generic um, values, I mean alpha 1, alpha 2, and I'm going to try to determine which values uh, can take alpha 1 and alpha 2 to satisfy this condition. So what happened here is that we need to u1, u2 plus alpha 1, alpha 2 be equal to 0, 0. And this gives us a system of uh, uh, equations that is u1 plus alpha 1 is equal to 0 and u2 plus alpha 2 is equal to 0. And from this, we obtain the solution. So alpha 1 is equals to minus u, and alpha 2 is equals to minus u2. And you may say, well, this is trivial. It's just taking the negative values of the original vector. But what happened here is that alpha 1 need to be, in this case, is part of the vector. So minus u should be part of the vector space. That means that it should be part of this element v. And if this is true, then alpha 1 should be greater or equal than 0. And the only possibility that, uh, that this equation holds is that alpha 1 is equals to u1 that are both equals to 0. So if I choose that u1 is greater than 0, then it doesn't exist an alpha 1 such that uh, it doesn't exist a positive alpha 1, okay? Because it should be negative. That's why what this equation is saying. Alpha 1 should take negative values. But in this set V, that's not possible. So this V is not a vector space. 